Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm actually going to be going back over Priya and some of the changes that I had to make to her mod set because of her recent meta changes. So for those of you who are not aware of what meta change means, it basically means like in gaming when we talk about the meta, it's what the strongest characters and strategy that are currently being used in the game. So obviously when new characters come out, when new weapons become developed, when there's new mods, just any changes in the game can affect the meta. Like right now on the defensive end, we are experiencing a blue and yellow meta where we see a lot of blue and yellow characters. And on attack right now, there's a lot of blue characters and yellow tunes as well. So because of these changes, because we see so many Priyas and Princesses, Frosts and Aravs, Rosita's, Blue Shivas, it's just when things change, you need to adapt with them. At this time, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content and information. So one of the most difficult parts in the game, I think, is identifying when change is needed. Like, I recently came out with a video, and I know it was passed around a lot, about the ideal mods for Priya, and I still think those mods are quite good, but because of some changes in the game, especially with the leader tune Jackie being released, I had to make some major changes to my Priya for her to be more effective. Now, I do want to say that these are the mods that I use because they work best for me, but if you play and have a different style, like you can use crit mods if you want, but I would definitely stick between crit and attack mods, but it's just about your style of play and how things feel. So these are just suggestions and recommendations based on my level of play. Um, I play in a pretty competitive faction and we are aiming to go to WOC. So a lot of my mods and my tunes kind of reflect So that. I did stick with my attack set mods because the attack boost will increase all damage done by Priya. So on her basic attacks on the double attack and the rampage, while crit damage only affects the initial attack, which basically means if she's rushing, she usually gets three attacks. If double attack works each time, then he, she has six attacks. And if rampage triggers on each of those, that's 18 attacks. Crit set mods will only ever work on three of those 18. Meanwhile, attack set mods work on all 18, which is why I like attack set better. Now I do have a crit chance mod on here, so that her rampage goes off more frequently, attack up versus fast tunes because there has been an influx of fast characters in the game. I do have a confused resist now because of Jackie leads and because I don't have a super deep roster that I can constantly be using duplicates of certain tunes and have the same effectiveness. So I decided to remove the attack attack set mod and replace it with this confused resist just because of the new lead tune Jackie and how frequently I'm expecting to see her. I kept my stun resist because I still want to use my Priya against Mercer leads as well. So by having these two mod resists, it just gives me a better chance of being able to adapt to whatever leader I see in front of me. Now, this last mod, a lot of people might be a little confused by my choice, but because of the meta, so because of what's currently being used on defensive teams and used frequently at that, I decided to go with an attack up while impaired mod. Now this mod is kind of like the bread and butter of my attack team at the moment. Um, I know a lot of people also go with attack up when taunted because there are a number of different taunting characters on defensive teams and because of the focus combination with being taunted and still getting the taunt bonus, even though focus allows you to ignore the effects of taunt, confuse, and attack around human shields. It is also a very good mod to use. I just like attack up when impaired because based on the team that I'm running at the moment, I can intentionally impair my Priya when she rushes. And if she gets impaired on the first attack of her rush, it means all the damage after. So any normal attacks, double attacks, and rampage damage is being influenced by this attack up when impaired mod because it's as if She's attacking those other characters while under this mod influence, but because of the nature of her rush, she's able to get this huge attack boost. So people, if you have a platinum mod of attack up while impaired, I highly suggest using it on Priya. Now, of course, you don't want her to become impaired off of a first basic attack. 
you want her to become impaired on her rush because impaired doesn't prevent her from continuing her rush like stun might. Because when Priya attacks and their basic attacks, she can still be stunned by the enemy and that'll stop her animation. To me, it's really quite interesting how these mods kind of interact with her weapon because the double attack aspect overwrites any type of crit damage that would be actually inflicted upon the enemy because we know that Priya does perform critical attacks on the double attack as we see Rampage go off sometimes multiple upon multiple times on a rush, but it's like this 150% overwrites all forms of crit damage on that second attack. And Rampage is purely based off of Vatoon's attack, which can be influenced by different mods. It's also heavily influenced by towers in war. By understanding the impact of mods as well as war towers, you can easily manipulate tunes to have much higher attacking power and produce more damage just by understanding the mechanisms that produce this damage, as well as understanding what the current meta is and how you can manipulate it to your advantage. I could easily use an impair resist mod on my Priya instead of a confuse or stun resist, but by using an attack up one impaired, I'm using one of the enemy's greatest assets against them. It also allows me to mod my Priya so that I can face Jackie and Mercer teams, as well as a variety of other teams with less fear of potentially rampaging my own team because my Priya is confused or being unable to gain AP because my Priya is stunned. So for this game film, I'm just going to be attacking a friendly defense that I put together and I'm going to be showcasing how I utilize my Priya's attack up when impaired. I'm going to show it at normal speed to start and then I'm going to slow it down to half the speed just so I can also go over my thinking style again for a team like this and what I kind of think about when I come across it. Like the main things are focusing in on the weapons and understanding who I actually need to attack in order to become impaired. So I did set it up a specific way so that my Frost had an impair weapon. That way, because I don't run a focus tune on this team, I would be forced to attack him. So when starting out this match, I have two tunes that are stunned to start, but my Dr. Stevens isn't, which is good, because this defensive team could get Dr. Stevens to rush on the first turn. So I first try to put some AP down so that my Priya gets the AP that Dr. Stevens is giving away. The other AP went to Xander, which isn't extremely useful, but my Priya is ready to attack. Now, although Frost has 50% extra defense because he's defending, I'm hoping that my attack up one impaired mod will come into play against this team. So by rushing my Priya onto Frost, I'm giving myself a decent chance of becoming impaired. And we notice that Priya does become impaired and it shows at the bottom of the screen. We also see the high damage output, the second animation which tells me that reflect damage got her, but the attack boost does come up a little late at the bottom of the screen, but it does appear to tell us that attack up when impaired was triggered because Priya did become impaired, but as you see, her rush did not stop. Priya ended up doing 38,000 damage, almost 39,000 damage, and that was just by being kind of clever with how I went about attacking. Now, of course, if I didn't have that attack up one impaired mod, I'm not sure if I would have been able to apply as much damage as I did to Frost and to the rest of the team. So we're just going to kind of replicate that again under a different scenario because you never know who's going to be taunted, who's going to be impaired, who's going to be stunned at the start of a match. So I find it useful to practice against the same team multiple times to see the different types of scenarios that could happen. In this attack, I got lucky where Xander gave AP to Frost because Frost had the highest amount of AP, therefore Xander's 100% AP went to Frost, Frost rushes, gives five turns of healing at 30% HP, which can be quite devastating at times, but without a defensive buff, I'm still able to rush Dr. Stevens to give the AP to my Priya, and my Priya is going to rush Frost again to get that attack up when impaired, hopefully, and she does end up triggering it in this attack, and as you see, she's able to decimate the enemy very quickly. 
Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and listening to my video. I hope this gave you a brief idea about how to adjust mods to whatever the current meta is.